Hello everyone, I'm Paul Tranny, Principal Evangelist here at Adobe, and wouldn't it be great if you could see the provenance of an image, if you understood where it came from, how it was made, building trust in that image? Well, that's what the Content Authenticity Initiative is all about. Talked about this a couple years ago, and now it is showing up in Photoshop for you to use. So this is very exciting. Let's check it out. So here I'm in Photoshop, obviously I'm going to start with this image and the first thing you want to do is go to Preferences, down to Technology Previews, because that's what this is. Selecting Technology Previews, Enable Content Credentials. So you will have to restart after selecting this, but this is going to capture all of the edits and actions you take on your content. Most of them, again, it's still in beta, so we are working on this and we're looking for uh, your help with it as well. Um, um, but once you do that, once you restart, you can just start to edit. But the big thing is you want to go into Window Content Credentials Beta. Open up this panel because you could start to see all of the actions take place, say, right down here. Uh, notice how you can connect some accounts, which I've already done. I've already connected Behance, Crypto Address, Twitter, things like that, because that content will carry over to these uh, platforms, which is awesome. And of course, it's tracking all of this stuff. So I could just kind of go about uh, sort of duplicating and doing whatever I would typically do for this image, sort of remove the background, add a gradient. And this isn't that big of a deal because everything I'm doing right now is being done in Photoshop, right? So I'll just, uh, you know, sort of select a gradient, you get the idea, right? As I start to work on this, um, the uh, gets a little more interesting once you dive into uh, sort of adding additional content. So from there, I'll just go ahead and grab uh, maybe this green branch. And ultimately, I want these lovely green branches kind of coming out of the camera uh, like I do, right? And um, as I do that, and I'll just grab a couple more, bring them in here. It's going to start tracking these images that I'm bringing in. Okay, so they're cloud-based images. We'll open up content credentials uh, beta. We'll click on preview right down here, and we can see the image. We could see the imported assets, the color adjustments, the size and position adjustments I've done. Um, and uh, you can see right down here the images that I've imported. So all you need to do is just kind of continue to work as you always have on your design as that information gets tracked. So here is my final design. Again, right down here, content credentials beta. And see everything that's being tracked. We click preview, jump in here. Sure enough, uh, this is the final image. And we can start to take a look at all the combined other color adjustments and all that fun stuff at all the various sort of images that I used uh, as part of uh, this design. I did copy it and pasted uh, sort of a merged layer on top just to give it a little bit of punch. So that's what those are, but it shows literally everything over here in my layers panel, as you can see. And again, there's that layer right there, just giving it a little punch, as you can see. So that's done. Now here's the, the fun part. Now that I have that all squared away, I wanna go to export, export as, from there, we're just going to export it as a ping or a JPEG, but right down here, we want to go ahead and uh, make sure we have this turned on and attach the content credentials to it, right? We could always preview that again. If I click right there, you see that same information. We'll export that out to our desktop. We'll just call it uh, Flower Burst, right? Save that, and that information travels with that particular image. So. I'm just going to go to my desktop and actually I'm going to open up a browser and I am going to go to verify.contentauthenticity.org. Okay, so you decide what content to trust right in here. You could read all about it, but what we want to do is we want to click right up here, choose image, select that and drag and drop your file. It'll analyze that file, read all of that metadata is what that is, shows me uh, when and uh, what was used to create it. Uh, everything that was done to it, roughly, all the assets used, and then all the layers on the left side. We can actually even go in and choose comparisons as well. So we can go back to the very original photo, and notice that this is a slider comparison. We can see uh, the original image 
versus all of my edits, which is pretty amazing. So that's how you can verify the content credentials. From there, you'll upload to sites that can display or take advantage of those credentials. Think Twitter, Behance, Instagram, etc., uh, because you wanna show that you're the creator of your work and all the hard work it took to make it, right? Building trust in the image. So this is very new, okay? Still being implemented across uh, social media. But you can find out more at contentauthenticity.org to find out more. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So be sure to subscribe for more of the latest content from Adobe and please follow me on social media. I would love that. And I'll see you next time.